Good evening, everyone. Hi. They gave me a microphone again. I am Amanda Sutton. I am one of your co-hosts for the evening this evening. Hello. It is so lovely to see you all here tonight. Um, I, this is our, our unofficial, our informal welcome. Um, just to thank you all for being here. Um, I think everyone's sitting down for dinner, which is great. But we wanted to welcome you. Um, myself and our executive director, Karen Avila, are going to be uh, in charge of your evening tonight. So good luck. I will say I already got my beer. So if you haven't gotten your Odell's beer, please do so. It's delicious. Um, but really just wanted to welcome you all here. Thank you so much for being here tonight in person. And for those of you that are at home tonight, we're doing a hybrid event. So we do have some folks that are watching from home. We miss you. We wish you were here. Um, but we're grateful that you're tuning in tonight to spend the evening with us. Um, and yes, thank you all of you for doing everything we needed to do to keep tonight as safe and healthy as we could. Um, we really appreciate your willingness to help us with that. We really wanted to get us all together in person. We think it's really important just to celebrate the work that we've done this year and also look forward into the future. So thank you all for being here. So over the next hour, before we start our live event, we are going to share stories from our mission. Uh, the lives we saved, the lives we've enriched, and the accomplishments we've made over the last year. In addition, we'll take a closer at some of our amazing live auction items. If you haven't gone over there to check those out, please do. Um, and also, I do want to let you all know that outside, our premier auction items will close at 630 so make sure you're keeping an eye on those on biddingforgood.com. Um, I've, I've been actively bidding on a few things, so try to outbid me. Good luck. Um, and then also with our live auction, if you're viewing at home, you'll have a chance to participate as well. So viewing at home, you'll be able to join the virtual table that's being hosted by uh, Karen Avila, our executive director. And you can find her online at the address seen on your screen right now. Uh, for those of you in the room, please don't forget to purchase your beads. We're going to be playing the heads and tail game. It's one of my favorites. I've actually just noticed that I am sans beads right now, so I'm going to go find my beads as well. But make sure you purchase your beads. They're two for 15 or one from 10. Um, and that is from our bead brokers and our Vannas who will be around selling beads as well. So make sure you do that. And then I also wanted to take a chance to take a minute to thank our sponsors, our business sponsors for their in-kind donations that make this event possible. Uh, Color Pro Printing for the uh, American Kestrel Auction artwork cards that they printed for us with Bonnie Cleaver's artwork. Bonnie is one of our staff members. She does beautiful artwork every year, so please enjoy those. Bath Nursery for the beautiful foliage on stage. Fort Collins Video, Larry, for getting us streaming. Thank you again for doing that for us. Odell Brewing Company, delicious beer. Easy Street, it's my favorite from Odell. Wilbur's Total Beverage. So they are sponsoring our Barrel of Booze, which I am currently the leading bidder on. I challenge you to outbid me on this item because not only do I enjoy booze, but I also enjoy a good wheelbarrow. So, yeah, good luck. Um, and then also Fort Collins Hilton. They have been an amazing partner this year in helping to make this event possible. So thank you, huge thank you to them for making this, this possible for us tonight. We also have some financial sponsors. We have Walker Manufacturing, EDM International, Arbor X Tree Care, Otter Cares, Pooter Pet, Pet and Feed, and our event naming sponsors for six years in a row, Hillside Construction, Thank you guys so much for being such an amazing, amazing partner for our program and for this event. We had such a great week of bidding online. I personally have loved the bidding online. I get to bid in my pajamas, which is fantastic. Um, we closed out the general catalog yesterday, so thank you to all of you for finding your treasures and also supporting our program. You make such a huge difference uh, for the Rocky Mountain Raptor program. Um, so as I said before, the premier items close at 630. Um, you can continue. So also the eggs though, those you can continue to bid on through till 9 PM. Um, but remember that live auction item number five is pick up the clutch. So 
you got to bid high on those things. So pick of the clutch is where the uh, winning bid gets to take home the egg of their choice. So just keep an eye on that um, as we go through that. So if you really, really want to secure your egg, uh, get ready. Prepare to fight for it. Um, so that's it. Sit back, relax, enjoy your dinner, enjoy your drinks. Karen and I will be back soon to share some, some great stories about the program this year. And we're so excited to celebrate with you. Thank you so much. Welcome. Enjoy. And we'll be back soon. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have five minutes until our premiere auction items close. And someone keeps outbidding me, so knock that off. Hold on, I gotta do it on my phone here. I'm gonna outbid you again. All right, I did it. Ah, I'm the leader, suck it. No, I'm just kidding, I'm, I apologize, keep bidding, bid high. Not on that end. 
Everyone, <laughs> please, please note in case you missed Amanda's jealousy about bidding. Bidding is going to close <laughs> on the premiere items and suspend on the live items in just a couple of minutes. So if you want to keep bidding on anything, you better get your little phonies in gear. Yep. So it's that time. we can make that happen. Otherwise, you got to play with Bill Seaworth in the live auction for any of those items. So please enjoy your dinner. We're going to give you a floor show and uh, <laughs> we hope you enjoy it. But really, we're going to share with you some information about us, what we've been up to the last year with Amanda Sutton. And I'm, uh, I'm Karen Avila. I'm the executive director here at the Raptor program. So thanks for being here tonight. Yes. All right. Sorry, I got distracted. I'm watching my item. I have three I know. more minutes. You, you got it. Are you bidding on that? That's I'm bidding yes. on that. I'm Win it. Are you outbidding me? <laughs> but it's mine. We're outbidding each other. Oh my goodness. So um Items. We are so excited to be here tonight. We are gonna talk about you're really lucky because here in person you get to see our live auction items in all of their glory. They're absolutely beautiful. We're gonna talk a little bit about them today. Yes. Or just right now, today, this right now, moment. this very moment. Um, the first is our pine needle basket, and this was made by by Lisa Winta, one of our uh, our staff members here at the Rocky Mountain Raptor Program. Um, and it's Lisa, gorgeous. I, I know you're eating, but would no, you wave. stand up? Wave, Lisa Winta, our assistant director and volunteer coordinator, talented artist. Please do check out her pine needle basket. It's gorgeous. So pretty. So pretty. Agate, it's got an agate stone on the bottom. You can't pick it up, but please trust me, there's an agate stone on Don't the bottom touch it. of it. Um, you break it, you bought it, people. Yeah. All right. Um, the other, the next item we have on the live auction tonight is um, a guided eagle watching trip with Rick Harness, who works with EDM International. They're one of our sponsors this evening. And Rick is an amazing biologist. He will show you the world, so to speak, of eagles, as well as many other raptors. He's also going to give you breakfast and coffee to make it through. He's going to have some cinnamon rolls from Silver Grill and coffee. And you can arrange this trip with him to happen at your, your schedule. He is, he's great. So check out the Goldens and the Bald Eagles out in the world, um, out in the wild, as we say. The wild. And we hope you enjoy that if you're bidding on that. You had me at cinnamon roll. You had me at cinnamon roll. Yeah. Silver Girl cinnamon rolls are pretty good. That I've is certainly good. true. I know. Um, yeah. And then the next one we have beautiful sterling silver bald eagle pendants and earrings, as well as a wa beautiful watercolor um, of a feather. And this is like, they're actually accurate, which we get some things that maybe we're like, oh, it's, it's pretty, but that's not what a bald eagle looks like. These actually are what a bald These eagle looks like. These are great. They're beautiful. Yeah. So, um, and they're delicate too, like a so for, for a, um, a woman's neck. They're really lovely, and the earrings they're they're spot on as far as the bald eagle goes, in my opinion. Speaking of eagles, who's a hockey fan? I know there's a couple hockey fans in here. Okay, this is your item. So much fun! You can go to an Eagles hockey game like a boss. Those of you at home, this is for you too. You are going to get the Eagles owner's box for a game in the 22-23 season. It is a weekday game and not like an opening game or a playoffs game, but it's it is so a great one. It's so good. You and 15 people can go. You get to bring a stick signed by all of the players and wear one of their sweaters. It's a sweater, not a jersey. You know that, right? I didn't know that. It's a sweater. I believe you. So that's our item number four up on the live auction. Uh, Great. What, what's next? Well, so I wanted to have a minute. So we have, there's several uh, things that the Raptor, Pro, Raptor program does. Rehabilitation, education, research. And talking about rehabilitation, I mean, with COVID, I haven't been able to be as engaged in rehabilitation as I have been no. in the past. But I would love to hear, I think it's great for us to hear about some of the great work that the program has done over the last year in terms of helping birds of prey in the wild. And I've been in the situation personally, driving down the road. I've seen a bird that needs help. And it's amazing to be able to have a resource like the Rocky Mountain Raptor Program uh, to help when I, when I need them, when I see these birds in need. So I would love to hear more about what's been going on this last year. Thanks, Amanda. Well, you know, a lot. Um, every year, and I don't, uh, every time a, a phone call comes in on the on-call phone and you hear this desperate voice on the other hand wanting to find a bird. It's me. It's Amanda. It's no, me. we're there to help out. Um, this last year, we actually have had 
276 admissions, which is exactly on par with 2019. 2020 was an anomaly because we were all sitting at home like you are out there at home. Nice to see you all. I miss your faces. Come back um, next year when it's all when it's all clear, so to speak. Um, so in 2020, we had fewer birds come through. But this year, we had 276 back on par. And we had 74% release rate of treatable cases. And that's pretty high, all things considered. Now, not, that's amazing. not every bird can go back to the wild because... Thank That's you. Good. I like the applause I know, for that. We're all catching amazing. up. Your mouth is making your mouth full. Seventy-four percent of our birds are gone back to the wild. That's amazing. To my rehab team who can't be here tonight, thank you all for the work that you do, Michael, Gail, also Amanda and Carrie. We appreciate your hard work and all of our volunteers that lead to this. They all gave ten thousand eight hundred and ninety-three days of care to the birds that came through our hospital. So many birds and so much care. They did a great job. We, we saw birds come in from 52 different cities in Colorado, Wyoming, and one little great horned owl from North Dakota that caught a ride back in the car, not on the hood. And if you've seen any of our newsletters, birds do get hit by cars a lot, and they have become lodged in the grills. But this fellow came back in with the help of a good Samaritan to our facility from North Dakota. So that was really great. We made That sounds difference. like a road trip that I, I take where like I go down the road and I just pick up every injured animal that I see. <laughs> so fair warning to anyone road tripping with me, it's going to be an adventure. Right. Yeah. Um, but one thing I do want to do is I want to raise awareness to a few cases. We have some great video footage and photos that we want to share with you. So those of you watching at home, this will, this will pop up on your YouTube feed. Those of you in the room, we're going to talk about first an American kestrel. Um, they came in on, this little bird came in on Valentine's Day. Not a very happy, loving day for him, but he got a lot of love. And he was found in the snow and on a dirt road. And he was feeling pretty bad. He'd had a headache um, from probably being hit by a vehicle. And he stayed with us for just a short period of time. He was with us for about a month. And then we did release him back to the wild in Wellington, actually. He went back near where he was found in Wellington. We have a short release video of him so that you can see how he flew to the skies yet one more time. Check this out. It's so fun when you, I've been on these releases before and it, it's a little thankless, but kind of exciting in that like these birds just like don't even look back. They're like, peace, we're out, we're gone. You never see them again. It's fantastic. It's the best feeling in the whole world. American kestrels are one of the smallest falcons of North America. Did you know that? I did know that. They are, they are I, one of my favorites. I learned a couple things in my 18 years. Your 18 Here, years. There, yeah. Just a few. They're my favorite birds to watch when I'm driving, which is dangerous to drive with someone who likes birds. Yeah, don't do that. that. Yeah, we get um, distracted easy. Another bird that we had come in, this is a, this is a really great example of um, the cooperation that we have at the Rocky Mountain Raptor Program. We have cooperation between not just the Wyo with um, Colorado Parks and Wildlife, but also Wyoming Fish and Game. This beautiful golden eagle came down to us from Torrington, Wyoming, which is way up north in Wyoming. And unfortunately, this bird had had some sort of traumatic injury to his right shoulder. And um, he was transferred down to us and stayed with us for a period of time. He was a little on the thin side as well as with that. He wasn't like all of you in the room eating and enjoying your meal. He had gone a few days without a meal. Um, but uh, he had an injury. We were able to help him to go back out to the wild just a few short months, two months roughly, right after when he came in, and that was at Soapstone Prairie. And here is a, here is a, a release of the golden eagle out at Soapstone Prairie that made his way back to the bison. That little hop, that little look back. He's not real sure. There he goes. This was oh, a that's so much fun. This was a first year golden eagle. I and love it. Michael Tincher, our rehabilitation coordinator, and Ed um, Bischoff, who is one of our amazing volunteers, went out for this release on a gorgeous windy day. 
out to Soapstone to return this beautiful golden eagle to the big country that he was born to live in. Um, owls. Ugh. I love owls. I did PM treatments for so long. I have a heart. I have, I have Those a of you owl. at home, I know a lot of you will raise your hand, but I got to do a test in the room. Because is anybody here a fan of owls? Literally everyone. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So literally everyone. This little owl has to be one of my favorite owls. They're, they're referred to as the long-eared owl. And one of the reasons that they are one of my favorites is the look on their face every time you see them. They look surprised. Like Genuinely you've, you've shocked. In, like you've interrupted a shower or something. But and they, they have the they eyelashes. If you see, like, I feel like it should be long, link. long lash owl. Um, this owl, unfortunately, came to us uh, after he, too, had suffered an impact trauma. In case you didn't know, most raptors do come to us because of impact-related traumas or encountering the human world. And unfortunately, the, the raptors wind up losing. Now, this fellow didn't lose. Because of you that helped to support the Rocky Mountain Raptor program, this owl had a win, for sure. He came to us on April 20th, 420, and uh, he had a lax... I'm sure it was unrelated. It was unrelated. Um, he had a laxity in his right shoulder and some sort of injury happening there. But after a short period of time, only about a month, actually, just shy of a month, he was able to return to Cobb Lake State Park in good flesh and good weight to make his way back to the wild. And here's his release. Look at those beautiful wings. Like, see ya. <laughs> oh, I love that. And lift it back up into the trees. So, love it. so those are just a few of the stories for the birds that have come through the Rocky Mountain Raptor program in the last bit of time. And um, there are so many more stories, and we want to share all of them with you, but just not tonight. So um, we will be back in a little bit, though. Yeah, we'll be a little more formal. We had to relive the slipper oh, yeah. experience from last year. Thanks, by the um, way. I think yeah. with COVID, has anyone else had a hard time wearing real pants again? Yeah. Okay. I've been Remote working at home work. for two years. It's been real hard going back to the office. One, they don't fit because I love macaroni and cheese. And two... It's just not as comfortable. I no. feel like, can we all just make an agreement here that we're going to wear yoga pants all the time? <laughs> no? Guys, you Anyone? too. Guys, you, you too. too. I want sweats. I want yoga pants. Yeah. The next fashion trend. Thanks for my bird slippers, though, Amanda. We You're got welcome. to wear these last year. And, um, and I tell you what, although I love my shoes, these are way more comfortable. Way more comfortable. I way will say, though, I have to tell you this story. Um, my my fiancé, I had these slippers after our auction. I brought them home. And I was sitting on the, on the phone doing a job interview, which was virtual, because that's how everything, we do everything now. And I'm sitting there trying to be very professional and on my job interview virtually, right? And out of the corner of my eye, here comes Jason, and he's strutting across the kitchen wearing my bird slippers. <laughs> and he actually stops and went, I'm on a job interview with my, my boss now. I did get the job. You'll be glad to know. But he comes by and he stops, and he looks at his feet, and then he keeps walking. <laughs> And he knows because in my head, I'm like, those are my slippers. Take them off. But yeah, so these slippers have gotten some wear in the last year, but it's been real Good. nice. Yeah. Mine too. Thanks a lot for them. You're welcome. Uh, it's dessert time. It's I'm dessert. I'm excited about dessert time. We're going to eat some dessert. We'll be back. Those of you at home, have some dessert. I hope you have some dessert. We miss you. Come back. Um, but we'll be back in a few minutes to share with you about education yes. and where we, what we have done and some more live items. And some more live items. We'll I'm be back soon. super excited about that. Enjoy. Thanks, everybody. My favorite place to visit is Pooter Pet and Feed Supply. They have everything my animal friends and I could possibly need. Pooter Feed has stores in Fort Collins, Loveland, and Windsor. And when I'm not in the mood to get out, they deliver the goods straight to my door. I run into fellow shoppers of all breeds and species when I'm at Pooter Feed. We can all fill our carts with any foods or fun we fancy. Pooter Pet and Feed Supply has a feed for every need and friendly service that always leaves my tail wagging. Sponsorship. Um, they're one of my favorite places to go for my pets. Um, also want a quick reminder for everyone in the room to buy your beads. I don't know where our bead sales people our are. Our bead brokers. There they are. There's one in the back. If you want to buy beads, two for 15 gives you two chances for our heads and tails game. We have a really awesome prize of a mix of local gift cards. It's really well worth it. It's a fun game to play. 
So please buy your beads, two for 15, one for 10. All the proceeds go to the Rocky Mountain Raptor program. And we are back. We're going to tell you more first. We're going to start oh, on two seconds before we do. I do want to thank um, Pooter Pet and Feed. You just I saw did, their ad. Did you? Oh. I did say that. Oh, I wasn't listening. Give Sorry. me this. <laughs> I'm going to drink this for you. Get and back. my beer. I'm going to double Sorry. fist it. I but yes, Pooter Pet and Feed, we love you. Thank you so much. Thank you to everyone at our sponsor's table tonight, Pooter Pet and Feed. We're glad to have you here. Thank you. There we go. More now items. we got their attention. Yeah. All right. So, so we have, auction items. Yeah, more of you at home. We're still talking about live items here this evening. Our next live item we're going to talk about is the pick of the clutch. This is one of my favorites because I have no artistic talent whatsoever in any way. But the people that do these amazing eggs, this, this one in particular is one of my favorites. This was an egg done by Katie Godsey, who is one of our volunteers. She was one of our volunteers, I apologize. And this is actually of one of my favorite raptors. This is the turkey vulture. This was our educational turkey vulture in honor of his passing this last year. Um, Katie made a beautiful emu egg and painted that with gold and copper and silver leaf on it. And so this is up for bid with pick up the clutch. And pick up the clutch, if you don't know your bird parlance, when a bird lays a nest of eggs, it's called a clutch. So you get to choose during the live auction which of the eggs, 10 of them, that you want to bid on. So pay attention to that one coming up. Oh, and then we have Judy. So Judy is buying her beads right now because she's fantastic and she supports her. So Judy is our former executive director. She's, and our founding executive And our founding executive director. She's amazing. In addition to being just an amazing human being, she also weaves these gorgeous scarves. This one is alpaca and silk. I tried it on earlier, and Karen had to pry it off of my shoulders. It is heaven. It is, it is wonderful. gorgeous. Um, so that's one of our, our live auction items tonight as well. It's hey, amazing. Judy, would you stand up really quickly for me? Yeah. Judy Sharpels. Let's give a round of applause. Please, a round of applause Judy. for Judy Sharpels. Thank you, Judy. For your continued support, not only in your weavings, but for a shoulder me for me to lean on, I appreciate it more than words can say. Thank you. <laughs> Karen did let Judy retire. I, you did. You got to retire. Thanks for still sitting on the board, though. <laughs> um, this, this next item, how many of you like to go to Steamboat Springs, Colorado? Who Steamboat gets naked Springs? in the hot springs? Yeah. <laughs> You okay, did. I saw one hand. Really? No one's been to Strawberry Hot Springs? You I have. Thank you. Yeah. And you're telling me none of you got naked? Yeah, that's what I thought. Exactly. That's right. Well, what happens this is in a, the spring, stay in the spring. This is a great weekend. This is um, one of our volunteers and her family have donated this luxury condo in downtown Steamboat Springs. It is like right across from the fly shop and it comes with two bottles of wine, two glasses for those wine. If it's just two of you, you can drink out of the bottle. It's fine. Um, and also a game called Wingspan. This is a bird nerd game. Don't get me wrong. You can play it if you're not a bird nerd, but it is a fun game to play. And so a weekend away, except for 4th of July and Christmas, but any other time you can go bring your wine, it sleeps up to eight, I think, and it's amazing. So do bid on this item as well, a, a luxury weekend in Steamboat Springs. I don't even really want to talk about the next item because <laughs> I'm going to take it home. So I feel like it's just rubbing it in for the rest of you. But we do have a wheel, <laughs> wheel barrow full of booze which are like my two favorite things. I'm a horse girl, so you can never have too many good wheelbarrows around and then, you know, fill it with booze and like, that's all you got to say. So, um, don't worry too much about this item because, you know, you'll have to out. Oh, stop it. They need to know about it. It's not just okay, you. Fine. It's 10 six packs of mediocre beer, <laughs> 13 wines that you're not going to like, and four bottles of Probably cheap liquor. Let's well, be honest. You guys don't want it. You guys don't want it. Just forget about stop it. Stop it. You. I shouldn't have given you this <laughs> to, to, to tote. I'm just kidding. Oh, Wilbur's did us right. Wilbur's did us right. It's amazing local beers that we all love. Um, you know, amazing bottles of wine. Who says no to a bottle of wine? And I haven't met a bottle of liquor I didn't like. So 
This is an amazing item. I'm excited about this one, and obviously. Wilbur's Total Beverage donated all of this beautifulness in this barrow, so definitely bid on that. Uh, the last item we have on live auction tonight is called Raptor Round. Now, for those of you that are hockey fans, you may understand this. For those of you that are not, this is the Stanley Cup of the Raptor world, okay? If you bid on this tonight, your name goes on a plaque. And then every year, you get to defend your title to keep your name on that plaque. With cash. With cash, yeah. You get to bid on this item. It comes home with you for a year, and then I come knocking on your door and say, okay, it's time to come back to the family, come back to the flock. Let's see what you can do for you this You sounded year. like the godfather for a second there. Come back to the family. Take come the back to the Take a cannoli. Yeah. Yeah. No, anyway, so... The Raptor Round, um, this is actually coming back to us after five years from Jill and Ross Kniff. Thank you, Jill and Ross, wherever you are. Thank you so much for your support over the years. Um, they have given the trophy back for the next person to take their chance at the title. So the Raptor Round is a beautiful sculpture. It's a miniature sculpture that used to be a full size in Old Town Fort Collins, and now that belongs to Brighton, Colorado. They actually display that in their town. And this miniature was made by um, Chuck Weaver, beautiful, uh, beautiful sculpture artist out of Loveland. Unfortunately, he did pass away, but his wife, Dee, gifted us th with this beautiful statue to share with our supporters for those that love raptors. And this is a beautiful bald eagle sculpture, very artistic. So please bid on that tonight to show your support for not just the Rocky Mountain Raptor program, but of course, the birds that we care for and the education that we do because you make a difference with all of that. And speaking of education, I think that's where we're headed next, right? Yeah, I want to hear about what we've been doing with education. I've been watching some of the amazing online, so kind of online virtual, learning. Like virtual this. learning. Hi, this everybody great. out there. We miss you. Um, but what have we been doing with education this year? Well, you know, certainly COVID has made education challenging. Uh, in, in 2020, of course, everything came to a screeching halt. But this last year has been great. We have made progresses. We're not back to where we were beforehand, but we did 103 formal presentations in classrooms like Rivendell. Those of you from mm -hmm. Rivendell Elementary here tonight, we have been to your school, so thanks for supporting us. Most definitely, thanks for supporting education in general. We appreciate that. We also were able to go to 52 exhibits over the year. Steamboat Springs this year was really fun for Art in the Park with the Balloon Festival, shortly following with the rodeo. Um, we reached about 56,500 people with our message this year of not only conserving raptors, but the spaces and where they live and helping to make a difference for those, those animals and those places. We hit 82, sorry, we hit 18 different cities, a lot of programs locally in two different states. And, you know, this last week, I had a great phone call. This last week, I had a phone call from um, Amy Thompson, and she works at Fort Collins Montessori. And I interviewed with a couple of her students about um, raptors. They were doing some research projects. And these wonderful kids at Fort Collins Montessori did a read-a-thon. And they raised over $2,000 with a read-a-thon at their school. I was, like, so touched by That's that. That's really sweet. How old are, what age? Um, Montessori's young, so pre-K. Pre-K oh. up to um, uh, elementary school. That's even cuter. And I, I get to that. meet with these kids in a couple of weeks as they come over and get a tour of the Raptor program. So I'm That's super so excited about that. I love that. And they're so, going to meet some educational ambassadors, Yes, yeah, we've got some new educational ambassadors. We do. Um, everyone here tonight has had a chance to meet our handlers as well as our educational ambassadors. To those of you, thank you so much for your support tonight helping us get the birds out. We have three new birds that we've brought into the program. We have a, a Swainson's hawk that has joined our education program. And he came to us initially for rehabilitation, but unfortunately, um, back in 2020, and he was a first-year bird, but unfortunately he had a fracture to his ulna and he did also contract West Nile virus, and all of those situations left him unreleasable. So he is starting his training, and he's working very closely with one of our amazing volunteers, as well as one of our board members, Susan Baker, and he's doing a great job with that. We also met a new American Kestrel. Those of you here tonight had a chance to meet our other American Kestrel. This new male American, oh wait, I, I jumped ahead. 
New American Kestrel. I jumped ahead. I apologize, and I'm good. Um, this fellow, this American Kestrel, came to us as an adult bird back in 2018, and unfortunately, he had had a lot of trauma to his wing, and he lost some feathers that did not grow back, and so he's staying with us. We also have an educational ambassador, a new eastern screech owl. And this beautiful owl, um, unfortunately, as a first-year bird, he had, had been hit by a car also and probably broken his jaw, and um, his lower jaw. And when it healed, it healed uh, with a bill that was crossed. And so he cannot feed himself properly. So this beautiful eastern screech owl is now a, an educational ambassador with us. And... Um, that's great. So yeah. we have lots of new birds, but um, and it's been so lovely to see the birds. I, I think that's one of the things about being here in person that's been so great, is to see how beautiful these birds are in person. I've really missed it. Um, but speaking of which, we've also had to say goodbye to some of our favorite educational ambassadors, yeah. um, which has been really hard. You know, I worked as the educational director for 14 years, and a lot of people always said to me, how do you not get attached to these birds? You do get attached. Well, you do. You, there's and no way you don't get attached. These four beautiful birds, some of them have been at the Rocky Mountain Raptor program longer than I had. Um, our first, longer than I've been alive, some of them. <laughs> so, some of them. Still, Which I think speaks to our program and, and the care that we give these birds once they, they come and stay with us and, and they're, they're here to be educational birds. The, the level of care they get is exceptional. Mm -hmm. And I think that's a testament to some of our birds were 40 years old, yeah. which is amazing. So, you know, it, it, it is really hard when we lose them, but they, they have such wonderful careers here with us and, and nice lives here with us. And I, I do want to honor those birds for a moment. Um, this first bird was our rough-legged hawk, and he was with us for 19 years. And he was one of our flighted educational ambassadors, and he did a wonderful job for us sharing the beauty of rough-legged hawks as well as their capabilities in flight. Um, we certainly will miss him. Our national symbol, our bald eagle, came to us uh, when she was just two years old. And she lived with us very, very happily after, unfortunately, she was a victim of a gunshot injury that um, she came from Nebraska and she had a gunshot injury that blew across, blew open her elbow and unfortunately left her unflighted. But she served 25 years with us and she was about 27 years when she passed. And that was, that was a hard one for sure. Um, we also had this beautiful Swainson's Hawk and she served 30 years with us. She came um, the year I graduated from high school, and, um, and she came into our facility. Yeah, you can laugh. It's been a while. It's okay. Um, she also served... <laughs> Thank you. She Thank also you. served as a foster parent with us um, and helped to rear hundreds of baby Swainson's hawks to go back to the wild. She was an amazing bird. I'll tell you stories. Come and talk to me. I'll tell you stories. Not like the ones I can tell of this next fellow. This next fellow, I'm so, sorry, this one always hits me a little hard. Um, he came to us in 1988. And I he, was three. <laughs> you were three. Um, he came to us in 88, and he was found as an adult bird, so he was over three years of age. And turkey vultures, if you don't know me, they are my favorite bird. And if they're not yours, let's have a drink. I will change your mind. Oh my God. So this bird, I mean, just because we're telling stories, this is the first bird that ever threw up on me. <laughs> Again, we worked it out. Vultures, we worked through it. it. We got to know each other. They're just so, and he was the bird that made me love turkey vultures. And like you go somewhere, what's really funny is when you go to Mexico, where turkey vultures go to winter, by the way. So like they see a turkey vulture and it's like looking at a pigeon. And when I see a turkey vulture in Mexico, I'm like, oh my God, turkey vultures. It's like, really? They look at you a little odd, you know, crazy. A little loco. But they're the best birds. They're so sassy. They they're are great. so sassy. And this turkey vulture, he did an amazing job with his education. He was with us for 33 years, but I would say he probably was well over 40 years by the time he passed away. And that was, that was on New Year's Eve on, 2000, on 2001. And so um, before we begin our formal program, we're going to take just a moment. And for those of you out there that knew these birds and those of you in the room that knew these birds, I just want you to say thank you to them for all of the work that they gave to the Rocky Mountain Raptor Program, to our beautiful birds our that beautiful have gone bird. before us to fly again free. Thanks. I have a drinking problem.
Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to start our regular program, our formal event of the evening, the 29th annual gala auction and dinner for the Rocky Mountain Rafter Program. Yay! Let's get some applause. Thank you. Yay! We're so excited to be here. Thank you so much. So we are actually celebrating our 35th year of service, if you can believe it, uh, which is amazing that this program has been able to do the amount of good that they've been able to do for as long as they've been able to do it. So thank you all for being here in person tonight. Thank you to everyone that's at home watching and bidding. We appreciate you so much and we're so excited to be here to celebrate our auction. So because of you, I mean, it's been a challenging couple years. I think for all of us personally, just in our communities, it's been a tough couple years, but you know, I'm really impressed with how our communities have continued to support organizations that matter, to really give back, to really thrive in a time of adversity. 
So really just here to celebrate. I think it's important, you know, we're here to, to ask for donations, to continue to ask for your support of our program, but also to celebrate you and all of the great work that you've done for us and, and just your continued support of our program and the great work that we do. Your donations and your support directly make a positive impact on our community, both in terms of the birds that we're able to rehabilitate and release back into the wild, and also the educational programs and the research that we're due to further the love and appreciation of raptors and the ecosystems that, that they support and that support them. So thank you all so much. I really would love to get a round of applause for all of you here tonight, everyone at home, clap on your couch. Like, let's be honest, take a swig, you know, cheers. We are so excited about all of this. So I do want to take a minute again to thank our sponsors. I know I did it once before, but I, we just can't thank them enough. Um, so thank you so much for all of our sponsors who have donated, the sponsors who have offered in-kind donations, Color Pro Printing, Bath Nursery, Fort Collins Video, Odell Brewing, Wilbur's Total Beverage, and Fort Collins Hilton. Thank you so much. And also our finance, yes, round of applause. Yes, applause is, is amazing. Thank you. And also our financial sponsors, uh, Walker Manufacturing, EDM International, Arbor X Tree Care, Otter Cares, Pooter Pet and Feed, and of course, Hillside Construction. Thank you all so much again for your support of this event and of our program overall. Um, so at this point, you know, I'm really just here as the MC to help keep us on time and on track, but really I want to make sure that you hear from Karen Avila, the executive director of the Rocky Mountain Raptor program. She has done amazing work in leading our program to continue to help this program be successful in the, in the four years that she's been here. Um, so please welcome Karen to the stage to, uh, give us, give us an update and also, uh, present our um, Freedom Flight Award. Thank you all so very much. Um, we had a lot of silliness in that first hour and tried to have some fun because those of you here in the room, you know, are enjoying each other's company. Those of you at home are enjoying your company as well, um, but we're missing you. and. You know, although the work that we do here at the Rocky Mountain Raptor Program is about conservation and is about making a difference, the person that we're honoring this year for the Freedom Flight Award, man, I'm in awe of him. And sorry, if you know me, I like cry at the drop of the hat. Um, but I, I had a chance to sit down with Jerry Craig. I've known Jerry Craig for years in a very different position. He was a Colorado's first state raptor biologist, and he started his work basically the year I was born, at a time when raptors were not thought of as important, that raptors were shot when you drove if they were on your property. They would shoot our national symbol. You heard about our, our bald eagle that was an educational bird. Jerry Craig came into the world of raptors when they didn't know how to spell the word properly. And, and Jerry made such a difference. He saved a species from extinction in Colorado. He cared enough to dedicate 33 years of his life to this work. Not only that, he's the, he's the funniest guy you've ever met. He's one of the most amazing woodworkers I have ever seen. He's got cabinetry in his home, in his kitchen that he did. He did carvings of beluga whales and humpback whales and pods of, of orcas that are amazing. But above that, he has always loved nature. More than people, if you ask him. Um, but raptors were his thing. And... We have a little video. He was not able to be here tonight, but we have a video of an interview with him, and it is a little long, but please take a moment and listen to, to hear about the conservation legacy that Jerry Craig has left for the state of Colorado and the raptors that we love and the raptors that we care for. For our Freedom Flight Award, Jerry Craig. Jerry Craig came to Colorado at a young age. 
and his love for animals was evident. I got interested in falconry when I was about 13 years old and uh, got a kestrel trained at, and I was quite heavy into falconry until in college. Uh, so I was already oriented, always oriented toward raptors. At CSU, as I say, I majored in wildlife. Uh, <laughs> I was in raptors, there was no such thing. They didn't know what it was at that time. And at CSU, uh, you know, the, it was big game, elk, and then small game were kind of the lesser end of it. So, but the job for the Division of Wildlife that I really wanted came available before I completed my master's. My job for the Colorado Division of Wildlife uh, started in 1972, uh, and then I retired in 2005. Um, you know, after uh, that's all I did. I was uh, the raptor biologist for the state of Colorado. Where I made the biggest impact in my career and the scariest thing that took the most of my time was peregrine falcon restoration. Our inventory that first year in 1973, uh, there was 22 total sites throughout the state that we knew about, and only 12 were occupied, and only two of those sites had uh, produced eggs. Eggshell thinning from DDT was a big problem. I called the Peregrine Fund and they said, well, we'll send a couple of peregrines out. So that's how our partnership formed. I had two baby peregrine chicks. The birds were sitting on dummy eggs. We didn't, they accepted them. And uh, I rappelled over with the two chicks. 1988, we were down to only eight pairs of peregrines. It continued to climb. When I retired, we had 115 pairs throughout the state. We had young that we could bring back. So by doing that, we increased the total number of young being produced in captivity by bringing these wild eggs in and hatching them and keeping them from breaking. About half the eggs that we brought in would have broken in the wild. So it was, yeah, I'm still revved up about it. <laughs> Operation Osprey, um, that, that was a project that um, kind of was a side thing. It was rather interesting that it developed. But we decided this is going to be a project we're going to let the public, they're going to be involved in it. So they, we, we got them all together uh, and of course Judy Chappelle's group, all of you guys, group with the local Ottoman Society and the public. What they did is <laughs> we got the public service company. They volunteered and the Fort Collins Light and Power volunteered the poles and helped construct the towers and hack boxes that I had designed. So it was really a local grassroots group of people that got these, these ospreys going. And over that three year period, I say we've got 46 birds were released. We now have, last count, I know of about 11 pairs that are nesting here roundabout. Um, it was not uncommon. Shooting was a major thing going on. You could not drive down the road and, and have a hawk or especially an eagle sit on a power pole and watch you go by. They always flushed. Those that didn't, didn't survive. So the attitude had to change. Rehabilitation, there was very little of it. The vet hospital, I knew of two veterinarians in Colorado at the time that were treating uh, injured raptors. They had put this program together and they decided to hire a director. So um, I sat in on the interviews and the one that came out top was this woman that had a master's degree in waterfowl. It was Judy. <laughs> so I guess I hired her. <laughs> Bless her heart. She stayed with it, silly woman. <laughs> and, uh, you know, Rocky Mountain Raptor program gets the back <laughs> in the wild. Well, Jerry, on behalf of the Rocky Mountain Raptor program, 
our supporters and of course our community. We want to thank you for your years of service of conservation and stewardship of birds of prey. So for the 2022 Freedom Flight Award, we humbly present this to you for all of your wonderful work. Thank you for being there for the Raptors when no one else was. Oh, thank you. <laughs> This, I got it. I know where this is going to go. I got Good. a place for that. Good. I hope so. And I hope that you look on it fondly, just as you remember fondly, and as I see in your face, all of the stories of your years of work with the Raptors. We yeah, appreciate this it so is, much. The, the, this program has been so fun to be a bit that frustrating as regards to <laughs> the board of directors and all of us, but it's it's been really reinforcing to see. Every year it just keeps going. I'm so pleased. Um, I'll be returning this to Jerry next week, actually. He let me borrow it back. So um, so thank you for, for all of that and for all of the work that you do. And Judy, thank you. What a, what a year it's been. Every single one of us, I think, has been challenged in one way, shape, or form. And, um, and I'm glad to still be here, and I'm glad to have all of you here. Those of you here in the room and those of you at home as well who are not able to make it tonight, I'm so grateful for the love that you share, not just on the Raptor program, but the love that you share with the Raptors. Who speaks for them? You do. Silly me. Sorry. Um, you have been with us since 1987. Many of you have been by our side as we have pursued our dreams. You've been there to help to develop better rehabilitation skills to save lives. Every classroom that we've gone to, uh, every festival that we go to, no matter how close or far away, you've been by our side to help educate those people who want to learn more about not just the beautiful birds, but the habitat that we share together, the world that is surrounding us. You've helped us support our research and made more knowledge available about disease and treatment of, of different skills that can help. And of course, the struggles that we have with power industry and how the human and wildlife conflict happen, regardless of what our, our best efforts are. You've helped us to make sure that we have been here to care for these birds. You agree with our work? And you've helped to help, help to support that work to make our world hopefully a little bit better, even in our small corner of it. Again, for those of you tonight here and those of you cozy at home in your couches, you are the reason that these dreams have come true. You're a caring friend and a compassionate person at your heart. You've helped these dreams to become a reality. And for me, the Raptor program, we are eternally grateful for believing and also acting on those, those words that you have and those thoughts that you have. I'm so excited to share with you where we go. This last year, we've had an opportunity to meet with some amazing people to plan our future. We've summited with an organization called the Kabbalah with Shot Co. Architects. And they have done amazing work. And most recently, they've actually helped to redesign the state-of-the-art Teton Raptor Center up in Jackson, Wyoming, and help them to get on the right track. We're also working with an organization called Heartfelt Associates. And these people have like literally and figuratively wrote, written the book on interpretive design for a visitor's experience. And they've not only designed Kauai's botanic gardens, and the message that they pre present there. They've also worked on national and international wildlife parks um, and so much more. One in particular that I'm quite a fan of is the, um, the panda exhibit in China for panda conservation. They've done a great job with that. And although this is just the beginning as we plan for our nature park that we have at our facility just down northeast of Old Town, Fort Collins, this is just the beginning of the long road that we have to get ready for a capital campaign. 
But in so many ways, we have a lot, a lot of things to do now. Obviously, the last two years in COVID have presented challenges. And so the first thing that we're focused on is helping to rebuild our program in many ways. Although the last two years have been supported by all of our donors and, the, and your support, not just emotionally, but of course financially, has helped keep, keep us aloft. And, um, but in other ways, we really have lost a lot of our resources. The education component of what we do has really come to a standstill over the last two years. And although we've made a, a step up in 2021, we've lost a lot of revenue in a variety of areas, in particular being able to go out into the community, not just to raise funds, but also to meet new people. And some of you in the room are new to us tonight, and I hope that um, after hearing what we do and maybe having another drink with me at some point in time, that I can show you our facility and show you what we hope to do. But in the meantime, we still have other things to do, um, and we're going to take those challenges as opportunities. Opportunities to retool and expand our volunteer program, both in rehabilitation and education. We also hope that these opportunities will help to lift our message so that we can carry it into new communities and classrooms, both in person and now virtually. Jessica, thank you for the virtual. We also want to create connections because what are we as a community without connections? COVID has left, left us at home and separate from our friends and our family. And as we start to reach back out, we realize how important those connections are. Closer far, the human existence does not exist without the human next to us. And raptors are a part of that human existence. Nature, the part of that human existence. And you make that difference with your support. Uh, tonight, I do want to let you know about your support. We have an organization that helps to support us called the GEM Foundation. They have been with us a short period of time, but they have given a lot. And tonight, they will give more. And you can help. Every donation that you make tonight during the paddle raise after we go through the live auction, both here in room, online at biddingforgood.com, or even our website, the GEM Project will match those donations dollar for dollar. That means that your gift goes further. Your gifts will help save hundreds of lives of raptors. Come to our facility every year. Your gift is going to enrich our community by helping us to educate little ones from pre-K to big ones like you in the room. You're going to help make that difference, and we appreciate that. You're going to help us to build our capacity to do what is needed, not just in 2022, but beyond that as well. Your support means a lot. So the gifts you make will go twice as far tonight. Your compassion, your willingness to help us pursue dreams makes a difference. You'll save twice as many raptors. And tonight, you get to be a champion of a million dreams with your support and helping us to make the new reality of the Rocky Mountain Raptor program. Thank you. my eyes and I can see a world that's waiting up for me that I call my own through the dark through the door through where no one's been before but it feels like home they can say they can say it all sounds crazy They can say I've lost my mind I don't care, I don't care if they call me crazy We can live in a world that we desire
from far away Special things I compile Each one there to make you smile On a rainy day They can say, they can say It all sounds crazy They can say, they can say We've lost our minds I'm not, I'm not crying. crying. There's a dry eye in here. Oh my god, that was lovely. Um, I do I have do to have tell. tell. So, so <laughs> I've been with this program for so long. I see all of these videos, and I just have like all these stories. But one that stands out about Jerry is the first time I met Jerry Craig. Who like I see his video. This is a man who basically single-handedly saved the Peregrine Falcon. Let's let's admit that, right? So, so the first time I met Jerry, Jerry and Judy probably remembers this day. Do you remember this day? Jerry was in the, pro in the center and he was giving us, we were giving him a tour of our center and like how great we are and what great rehabilitation we do. And I was on morning treatments and I was in the treatment room doing um, just our regular morning rehabilitation treatments and I was weighing a ferruginous hawk and I've been, I've been doing this a long time, time at this point. I've been there like six or seven, seven years. years. So this, this is not, not new to me. But Prudunus Hawks, hawks if, you've, if you've never handled one, one. Um, they're quick. And I was and weighing I was this bird, bird, and she kicked, she kicked forward. forward. And, and we, we wear, wear welding gloves. gloves. Like, so, hello, come on. Anyway, anyway she, she kicked forward, and she just, just kicked high enough to miss the welding glove and hit my arm. And the girl that was in there with me was Angela. And I picked, and I picked the bird up and I said, she's fine. We weighed her. It was good. I picked the bird up. And I'm like, Angela, pull up my sleeve. I think she got my arm. And so Angela pulls up. So I'm holding the bird in this hand, right? And Angela pulls up my sleeve and blood starts pouring out of my arm at a very quick pace. I've never seen blood leave my body that quickly. And I said, Angela, go get someone. And I'm holding the bird. So Angela goes, she gets Gail, who's our medical coordinator, and Gail's amazing. And Gail comes in, she's like, you okay? I'm like, I'm fine. She's like, give me the bird. I'm like, okay. It's good. And I sit down, and then quickly, here comes Lisa. I don't know where Lisa went, but here comes Lisa, quickly after Gail. And Lisa's, and at that point, I'm like, I'm feeling okay. And Lisa's like, are you okay? And every woman in here knows that you're holding it together. So someone asks if you're okay. And I cried. I'm like, I'm okay. 
I'm all right. And she's like, so we're, you know, they're taking care of me. And at that point, like, I'm fine. I'm not going to die. The bird's fine. I'm fine. Well, I'm crying, though, and I can't stop because of the adrenaline, right? So I have that really nice cry where it's like the hiccupy, can't breathe, <laughs> like that kind of cry. And here comes Jerry. And he walks in and he looks at the situation. He's like, you okay? And I said, the bird got me. And he's like, honey, it happens to all of us. And I was like, okay. And that was the first, that was the first and only time I've met Jerry. And it was like this man who's so amazing. So, you know, one of the many um, lovely stories of me. So now um, they actually call it the Sutton Rule, which is my last name. They call it the Sutton Rule. Where now we leg band all Ferruginous Hawks when we weigh them because of that. So I've, I have a legacy, if you will say. Um, but no, I mean, this program is so amazing. Um, the work that we do and everyone that shows up to volunteer, whether we're volunteers or staff, it's amazing work. And it's just such a privilege to be able to work with these birds and to be able to contribute to what we saw in that video. Um, it just makes my heart so happy. And thank you all for being here. Um, with that, it is time for a live auction. So I just had to tell that little story. Um, before we get to our live auction, I do want to tell you all, um, I have a note to make sure you pick up your Pooter Pet and Feed gift bag before you leave. We will not have the checkout. Bidding for Good has eliminated the need for cashiers, which is great. Does everyone remember the cashier line from <laughs> like several years, right? So we don't have that this year, but please make sure you pick up the, the bags from Pooter Pet and Feed. There's always some amazing goodies in there. I always look forward to mine whenever I'm at the cat rescue auction, or this auction. So thank you all so much. Um, but with that, I'm going to bring our auctioneer up. Mr. Bill Seaworth is here with us tonight. Um, everyone give him a round of applause. We're so excited to have him here. And we are going to do our live auction. So make sure this is always such a fun time. Bill, it's so good to see you. Good to see you. I'm so glad you're here. And yeah, so um, with that, I will turn it over to you. You do this way better than I do. Thank you, Amanda, for that <laughs> very fine introduction. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it seems like it's been two years since I was standing here. Guess what? It has been two years. But we're all, oh yeah, I'm never, I'm never going to retire. They just, I got Junior working and I got Big John working with me tonight. Someday you'll show up and they'll be doing the auction. So let's see a show of hands. Who has been here for at least 20 years, 20 auctions? Let's see a show of hands. Woohoo, we got, we got two. Wow. I'll tell you what, I've been here. Uh, what, 26, Judy? That's, it's one of my favorite auctions to do of the year. I tell you what, this COVID threw everybody a curveball. We're doing things a little different tonight because we have some online stuff. So we're going to start where the bid is already online. I have that right up here. Feel free to bid, keep them hands in the air. Let's see a show of hands. Who's been to this auction before? Who's never been to this auction before? Guess what? You've all successfully completed the course of what you need to do tonight. You keep that hand in the air, and I'll tell you what, there's nothing better than my favorite bidder that just goes, hey, Bill, just take it when you need it, because I'm going home with it. So that's that's always a fun deal. Like I said, working with me tonight, Big John Van Oppen is over here in the corner. Willis is back over there. You bid to them just like you bid to me. It's a little different with face coverings and everything, but we're trying to do everything right. I've got Karen in the back that's going to be on my, you're my online gal, correct? Wave at me, Karen, if you hear me. Yeah, well, you're not Karen, but it'll work. Where is my clerk? There you go. All right. She's a great gal. Just don't talk to her. Okay. Oh, there's another clerk back there. Because when I'm going and I say sold, if they're visiting with a neighbor, everybody forgets. Where's my van is that tonight? I got, oh, ho. hey, look at the line up there. I'll tell you what. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the first item tonight is item number one, the pine needle basket. Made by Lisa, our own Lisa Winter. There we go. Hey, looky here. 
Ah, dandy it is. Can everybody hear me good? We are starting this set. I've got 275 in it and went 300. 275 and went 300, 300, 300 dollar here, 300 now quarter. 300 dollar bid now 25. 300 dollar bid now 25, 5, 5. I'm at 300 on the floor. I want 325. 300 dollar bid now 25. 325 here now 50. 350. 350 dollar wear. Three and a half, three and a half, three and a half. Three hundred and fifty dollar wear. Three twenty five bid now. Three fifty. Three twenty five now. Three fifty. Fifty fifty. Three fifty. Anybody on the internet? Three twenty five and now. Fifty. Three twenty five and now. Fifty fifty fifty. Three twenty five and now. Fifty. I'm bid three hundred and twenty five with the internet. I'm a little slower because you got to push that button. Three twenty five and now. Fifty. Three twenty five. I'm right here. Three twenty five and now. Fifty fifty fifty. Three fifty. Hammers high. Three one. If you're going to buy all the items tonight, folks, you got to buy the first one. Three hundred and twenty-five now fifty. Three hundred and twenty-five now fifty. If I had, I tell you what, Hillside Constructions here. The boss is out of town. You got his credit card. He told me he kind of liked a fine needle basket. I bid three twenty-five now three fifty. Any other bids in the house? Three hundred and twenty-five now three fifty. Sold it right there. 325, your number is 117, 117, 325. Okay, here's one of my favorites. The Eagle Watching Strip, Rick Harness, you get cinnamon rolls from the Silver Grill. We have new owners, but they still got the same good cinnamon rolls. And I'll tell you what, I'm online at that at 275 and I want 300. 275 and went 300, 300, 300, right there, 300, now quarter, 300 on a bid, now 25, 300 on a bid, now 25, 5, 3, 25, 3, 25, and now 350, 350 here, now 75, 375, it's just like checkers, man, your turn, then his turn, 350 here, now, nope, you're at 350, you beat 75, 375, 375, 75, 75, now 400, your turn, 4, now quarter, 425, 425, by 425, talk to him, Johnny, 425, and now 450, 450 here now, 75, 475, 475, 75, 75, 475, 450 bid and now, 75, any other over here, 450 bid and now, 75, 450 now, I'm pretty sure he's going to go again, now 500, even money, 500, $500 wire, $500, $500, buy, buy, $500, buy, buy, $500, $500 wire, 475, two years from now, you'll say, how much did I pay for it, I'll say at least $500, $500, $500, 475 now, 500, 475 now, 500 and now quarter, 525, take it off that even money, 525, 525, 525, 525, 525, 525, $500 bid now, 25, any other bids in the house, 525, I'm betting on you gals the whole way. 525, and now 50, 550, she's a weakening, 550, five, where you got to find another one, 550, 550, $550 wear, five and a half, five and a half, five and a half, it's not even the sales tax of what we used to sell them for, 550, did you say 550, sir, did, it? now wait a minute, ma'am, you have a phone call out in the lobby, we'll talk to him, 550, 525 in and out, 550, 525 in and out, 550, 550, final call, I'm betting on you, partner. 550. Five, I tell you what. Look back and look who's beating you up. Yeah. Two nice ladies. 550. 525 and now 550. 525. You're not wearing your mask because of COVID. You're wearing your mask because you're embarrassed because you're beating it. 550. 525 and now 5 and a half. 525 and now 5 and a half. Any other bids in the house? 525 and now 550. You bought it. 525. Get their number, Johnny. Get their number. One, one, two, oh, one, two, oh. All right. Now we've got item number three. The Sterling Silver Eagle set. Necklace, earrings, pen, the watercolor feather painting. Hey, looky there. Model not included. All right, follow along here. Hundred dollars. Hundred dollars where? Hundred dollars, one hundred, one hundred, one hundred dollars where? Hundred dollars where? Hundred dollars where? One hundred, one hundred, one hundred. Folks, guys, listen up. If you messed up about 13 days ago on Valentine's Day, this will get you off the hook. 
I need a hundred dollars. Who's gonna give a hundred to go? Got a hundred right back there in that quarter. Hundred dollar bid now twenty-five. Hundred dollar bid now twenty-five. Five one twenty-five. Hundred dollar bid now twenty-five. One twenty-five and now one fifty. One twenty-five and now fifty. Fifty fifty one fifty. Hundred and twenty-five and now fifty one fifty one fifty. Hundred and twenty-five and now one fifty. Hundred and twenty-five and now one fifty. One fifty one fifty. This is a little smaller. Your wife won't bother as much. One twenty-five and now fifty. One hundred and twenty-five and now one fifty one fifty. What about him? John, you didn't get the eagle trip. 125 and now 50. 125 and now 151. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'll take 135. 135. 125 and now 35, 35, 35. Hammer's high. 125 and now 35. One up, 35 and out, 45. We're on 10s. 145, 145, 135 and out, 45, 45, 45. 135 and out, 45. 135 and now 45 and now 55. 155. 155. 155. 55. 155. 155. Now 155 and now 65. 65. 165. 160. Oh, you told me no so many times you got to hire somebody to call your own dog. 165. 165. 155 and now 65. 155 and now 65. 65. 65. Any other bids in the house? 155 and now 65. Sold it. Lisa's way. 155. 155. On the internet. Oh, hey, look here. I'm telling you. Who do, who do we have for a little sales girl? Look at Amanda here. A little bit later on tonight, everybody's going to need at least one set of beads, maybe two. You come, She's going to have some. Let's look around here. I see people without beads. You look up Amanda right there. All right. Here we go. Item number four. The owner's box at the Colorado Eagles. You can have 15 people, a signed stick, jersey, donated by Martin Lynn and his wife, Vicki. Martin, Vicki Lynn donated this. They've been pretty good supporters of the Eagles. They're the eagles. These are the eagles. So one eagle to another eagle. Here we go. The owner's box at the game. Here we are. Hey, follow along here. I made seven hundred and fifty dollars. I want eight. Seven hundred and fifty dollars. Now eight. Now eight. Now eight. Now eight. Seven fifties on the internet. I want eight hundred dollars. Trust me. I've been there with Martin many times. We ain't even halfway there, boys. Seven fifty. Now eight hundred. Opportunities knocking. 750, 15 of your friends, and we kind of got to let Big John out of this because he don't have 15 friends. Here we go. 750, I want 800 dollars. 750, I want 800. 750 dollars now. 800, 800, 800, 800. 750 dollars now. Eight. 750 dollars now. 800, 800, 800. Anybody want to be 800? 800 right here now. 850. 850. 800 better now. Half. Eight hundred dollar bid, and now half, 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 half. Eight hundred. I'm on the floor at eight hundred. I want eight fifty. Eight hundred now. Eight and a half. Eight hundred dollar bid, now eight and a half, eight and a half, eight and a half. Internet, you're out. Eight hundred dollars now. Half. Eight hundred dollar bid, now half, now half, now half, now half. Eight hundred dollar bid, now half. Eight hundred dollar bid, now half, now half, now half. Any other bids in the house? Eight hundred dollar bid, now eight fifty. Eight hundred dollar bid, now eight fifty. Eight hundred dollar bid, now eight fifty, 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 eight fifty. Anybody else? Eight hundred dollar bid and now eight fifty. Eight hundred dollar bid. I'm gonna walk around, get me a drink of coke. I'm at eight hundred right here and I want eight fifty. It comes with a sign stick and a jersey. Eight hundred dollar bid and now half. Eight hundred dollar bid and now half and a half and a half and a half. Eight hundred dollar bid now half. Hammers high. Eight hundred dollar bid now fifty 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 eight fifty. I don't know. Do you need me as one of your 15 friends? $800 bid now, 50. $800 bid now, 50. Sold it right there. $800. Number 282. 282. Thank you, sir. Okay. All right, gang. It's time for the pick of the clutch. Everybody, high bidder, gets to take their pick. How many eggs do we have? A lot. Ten eggs. There's Bonnie Cleaver. I haven't seen Bonnie in a long time. All right. Here we go. I have got 
350 bid on the internet. I want 400, 400 dollars, 400 dollar where? 400 dollar where? 400, 400, 400 dollar here now half. I got 400 now half. 400 dollar bid now half. 400 dollar bid now 50, 50, 50. 400 dollar bid now 50. 400 dollar bid now half now 50. 500, 500, 500 dollars. $500, $500, I got 450 and I want five, 450 and I want five, $450 now, I want five, now five, now five, now five, $450 bid now, five, 450 to 500 right here, now half, five and a half, five and a half, and now 600, 600, 600, sit down, have a drink and bid 600, 600, $600 where, 600, 600, you're out, 600 here, now half, six and a half, and now seven, 700, 700, 700, what's that? It's choice. Yes, I make six fifty and I want seven hundred. Six fifty now, now seven hundred. Seven hundred right here now half. Seven and a half. Seven hundred dollar bid now half. Seven hundred dollar bid now half. Now half. Now half. Now half. Seven hundred dollar bid now half. I'll take seven and a quarter. Seven hundred dollars and twenty-five. You don't know how many times this table's bought these for three times the money. Seven hundred dollars and a quarter. Seven hundred dollar bid now twenty-five. Seven hundred dollar bid now twenty-five. Five seven twenty-five. Seven hundred dollar bid now twenty five right there and now fifty seven fifty seven fifty fifty you almost had it out the door seven fifty seven twenty five and now half now half now half now half sold it seven hundred and twenty five dollars what's your number one thirty which one would you like the what the Swenson Hawk do we know what that is sir you're my second bidder. Do you want a pick for seven hundred dollars? Seven twenty-five. It's seven hundred. The bid seven hundred, correct? Seven twenty-five. We're going to give you a little time to say yes. Say yes. Yeah. See, there's two answers. Yes and yes. Which one do you want? She didn't take yours. Yes. Oh, we do. We get it out of him. Okay. Which one would you like? Okay. Did you ride the short bus? I did. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Look him over. Are you with him? Do you get a pick? Okay. Yeah. I, is Lisa's on the table? I want Lisa. So. Okay. Is that the one you want? Okay. Everybody good? All right. I'm at 725. Anybody else want to pick? Now, this is where it gets tricky. Lisa, do we have an internet bid on one? Are we still at 350? Okay. Here we go, gang. I've got a bid. Two of them are out. I've got a bid of 350, and I want 75. 350 bid, and now 75. Three hundred and fifty dollar bid now. Seventy five, seventy five, seventy five. Three hundred and fifty. I tell you what, if you already bought one, buy another one. It cheapens them up. Three fifty bid now. Seventy five. Three hundred and fifty dollar bid now. Seventy five, seventy five, seventy five. Three hundred and fifty dollar bid now. Seventy five, seventy five, seventy five. Three hundred and fifty dollar bid now. Seventy five, seventy five, seventy five. Three hundred and fifty dollar bid now. Seventy five. Three hundred and fifty dollar bid now. Seventy five. Lisa, do you know which one they want? The bar now sold three hundred and fifty dollars to the bar now. Okay, Lisa, am I gonna sell it again or are we good? I I can't hear you. We're good. Perfect. Okay, here we go. All right. Lucky, I tell you what, this has been. One of my favorite things for many years. Judy makes us a shawl every year. I always, she always tells me, don't tank when you sell my shawl. And I never have. Two years ago, we got $3,800 for her shawl. You remember that, Judy? Yeah. Yeah, and she said I didn't tank too bad. All right, here we go. Model not included. I tell you what, I'm starting out at the wholesale price at two hundred and fifty dollars. I want three. Two hundred and fifty dollars now. Three hundred. Two fifty bid now. Three. The plows in the ground. Two fifty now. Three. 
$250 now, free, now, free, now, free, now, free, now, free. $250. I tell you what, folks, if I don't get it off of this, she's going to tell me I can't. $250 now, free. $250 now, free, now, free, now, free, now, free, now, free. $250 now, free, now, free, now, free, now, free, now, free. Folks, where are we going wrong? Look it all over. I mean, walk out there and show. It's the right color. It's got the right model. It was built by the right person. I made two hundred and fifty dollars. I want three hundred. Two fifty bid now. Three hundred right here now. Half. Three hundred dollar bid now. Half. The plows in the ground. Three hundred dollar bid now. Fifty. Three hundred dollar bid now. Fifty. 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 Three. Fifty. Three. Fifty here now. Four hundred. Three fifty now. Four. Four hundred. Three fifty now. Four hundred now. Four fifty. We got an auction. Four fifty. Four fifty. Don't you quit me now. Four fifty. Four fifty. 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 Four fifty. Four fifty now. Five hundred. Five hundred dollars. Five hundred dollars. It's a dandy now. Five fifty. Five fifty. Five fifty. You ain't got me off the hot seat yet, dear. Five fifty. Five hundred and fifty dollar. Five fifty. Bring it right over there and show it to her. It's your color. Five fifty. Five fifty. Five hundred dollar bid now. Fifty. Five hundred fifty here now. Six hundred. Six hundred. Six hundred dollar wear. Six hundred. Six hundred. Six hundred now. Six fifty. Six hundred and fifty. She's weakening. Six fifty. Six fifty. Six hundred and fifty. 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 Six fifty. Six fifty. Six. I tell you what. If your name's Gwen, Betty. Bid again. Six fifty. Six hundred dollar bid now half. Six hundred dollar bid now half the half the half the half the half. Six hundred dollar bid now half. Six and a half. Six and a half. Six and a half. She's saying yes, you're saying maybe. Six and a half. Six hundred and fifty dollars. Six hundred and fifty. Johnny, put an order. Put an order. Six hundred and fifty. Six hundred and fifty dollar wear. Six and a half. Six and a half. I tell you what, you say it quick, we'll do six and a quarter, just between me and you. Six and a quarter. Yes. Ooh. Wow. Six and a quarter. One time. How about your friend? Six hundred dollar bid now twenty five. Any other bids in the house? Six. Six and a quarter now half. Now half. A new rooster in the hen house. Now six and a half. And now six seventy five. Six seventy five now seven. Seven hundred. Seven hundred. It's easy to say, right? Seven and a quarter. Seven and a quarter. Quarter quarter. Seven and a quarter. It's your color, Amanda Sutton. Seven and a quarter. Seven twenty five and now fifty 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 seven fifty seven hundred and fifty. Oh, don't you come this far, dear? Seven fifty. Show it to her. Seven fifty. Seven fifty. Seven. I tell you what. If I've ever said it's your color, it's your color. Seven fifty. Seven hundred and fifty dollar wear. Seven and a half. Seven and a half. Seven and a half. Give Judy a brown pen. She'll autograph it. Seven fifty. Seven fifty. Seven fifty here now. Seventy five. Seven seventy five. Seven seventy five. Seventy five. Seventy five. Seven seventy five. Say yes one more time. Let's put it on even money. Seven seventy five. Seven fifty bid and now seventy five. Seven fifty bid and now seventy five. Seventy five. Seventy five. Change your mind. Seven fifty now. Seventy five. Any other bids in the house? Seven fifty now. Seventy five. Sold it right there. Seven hundred and fifty dollars. What's your number? One five zero. One five zero. Don't forget the beads. She didn't get the shawl, so she needs to sell some beads. All right. Item number seven. The Luxury Weekend in Steamboat. Donated by Laura and Lily Greer. Crystal Supermarket Liquors. Two bottles of wine. Two glasses. A board game. You name it. Here we go. I got 800 bid to what nine. Eight hundred dollar bid and now nine to nine to nine to nine. Eight hundred dollar bid nine and now a thousand dollars. One thousand. No, one thousand here and now eleven hundred. Eleven hundred, eleven hundred, eleven hundred. Thousand dollar bid and now eleven. Thousand dollar bid and now eleven hundred, eleven hundred, eleven hundred. Eleven hundred here and now twelve. Now twelve. Now twelve. Twelve hundred dollars. Twelve hundred dollars. Eleven hundred bid and now twelve. Eleven hundred dollar bid and now twelve. Now twelve. Now twelve. Now twelve. Now twelve. Eleven hundred dollar bid now twelve. Eleven hundred dollar bid now twelve. Now twelve. Now twelve. Now twelve. Eleven hundred dollar bid now twelve hundred where. Eleven hundred dollar bid now twelve hundred. Twelve hundred now thirteen. 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 It's your lucky number. Thirteen. Lisa, you were saving your money. It's thirteen hundred. It's thirteen hundred. Thirteen hundred dollar wear. Thirteen. 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 If I was married to her partner, I'd buy her the world. Thirteen. Thirteen hundred. Thirteen hundred dollar wear. Thirteen. 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 Now wait a minute. She said no the last time. Make it up to her. Say yes this time. Thirteen hundred. Thirteen hundred. Fourteen hundred here. And I want fourteen. Fourteen hundred. Fourteen hundred dollar wear. Fourteen. 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 Fourteen hundred dollar wear. Fourteen. Fourteen. Fourteen, 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 fourteen. He's a weakening. You can do it. Fourteen. Fourteen hundred dollars. Fourteen hundred dollar wear. Fourteen. 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 Thirteen hundred dollar bid. And now fourteen. Thirteen hundred dollar bid. Now fourteen. Now fourteen. Now fourteen. I tell you what I'm going to do. 
We'll do 13 and a half if you say it quick. 13 and a half if you do it quick. Just me and you. 1350. 1350. How do you know within $50? You're driving up to Steamboat, you have a couple glasses of wine, you're going to go, How did I miss that for $50? I made thirteen hundred dollar here and a half. Thirteen hundred dollar bid and a half, Frank. You're a steamboat guy. Thirteen hundred dollar bid and now fifty. Thirteen hundred dollar bid and now fifty. Now fifty. Now fifty. One time, it could do it. If it don't, didn't hurt anything. I'd loan you the fifty if I had it. Thirteen hundred dollar bid and now half. Thirteen hundred dollar bid and a half and a half and a half. Any other bids in the house? It's a buy. Call the sheriff. There's some stealing going on. Thirteen fifty. Thirteen hundred dollar bid and now half. Thirteen. I tell you what, we'll make this easy. How many people want Frank to bid thirteen fifty? Let's hear it. Everybody, she even clapped. Thirteen fifty. Thirteen hundred dollar bid and now thirteen fifty. <laughs> Sold it right there. Thirteen hundred dollars. What's the number? One forty-six. Thirteen hundred dollars. One forty-six. All right. Hey, looky here. You want to talk about a deal? We've got a wheelbarrow of booze. Frank, you might want to be bidding on this. Being you're not going to steamboat. You uncork some of these, set out in the parking lot, you'll think you're in steamboat. Donated by Wilbur's. I tell you what, with all this COVID stuff, you got to remember your friendly liquor store. You get the wheelbarrow, you get the t-shirts, you get the Wilbur stickers, you get all kinds of hooch. What do we got? Tequila, we got whiskey. I'll tell you what, it's about as good as you get. And I'll tell you what, if you pay enough, I'll throw in a bottle of Advil. Here we go. I got 500. It's from Wilbur's. 500. Push that baby out here. Let's see what everybody's got. Bonnie, you can do it. Here we go. I'll tell you what. That's okay. Here we go. We got old Bill the auctioneer. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, hey, somebody grab my first alert. Lucky there. I'll tell you what. Now, you want to talk about a dandy. We got the wheelbarrow. We got all the goodies. You name it. Hillside's kind of a bunch of drinkers. We'll back up. All right. Here we go, gang. I'm mid 550 here to what? 600. $600 here, no half. $600 bid, no half, no half, no seven, no seven, no seven. Seven hundred dollar here, no half. Seven and a half. Seven hundred dollar bid, no half. Seven hundred dollar bid, no half, no half, no half. Seven and a half. Seven and a half. How many times can you go and tell your friend? Seven and a half. Now eight hundred. Eight hundred. Eight hundred. No half. Eight and a half. Eight and a half. Eight and a half. Don't hold that up, dear. I almost took your bid. Eight and a half. Eight hundred dollar bid, no half. Eight hundred dollar right here, no half. No. I'm on the floor at eight hundred. What? Eight fifty. Eight fifty. It's a buy. Eight hundred dollar bid, now fifty. Go down and see Wilbur's. Eight hundred dollar bid, now half. Eight hundred dollar bid, now half, the half, the half, the half. Eight and a half. Now nine. Now nine. Now nine. Now nine. Say it quick, John. Nine. Now nine fifty. Nine fifty. Did you say it? Nine fifty. Nine fifty. Did you say yes? Nine fifty. That. This is nine fifty. Okay. Okay. Nine fifty. Nine hundred dollar bid, now half. Nine hundred dollar bid, now half, the half. I tell you what. You think he's slow now? You drink some of that stuff, he'll be there all day. I thought nine fifty now a thousand, one thousand, and now ten fifty, ten fifty. My guy's quick, ten fifty, thousand and fifty dollars. Oh, does that mean you're gonna hang yourself? Ten fifty, thousand dollar bid now, ten fifty, thousand dollar bid now, ten and a half, ten and a half, ten and a half, thousand dollar bid now, ten and a half. That wheelbarrow, boy, that's a daddy. Thousand dollar bid now, ten and a half, ten and a half, ten and a half, ten fifty, ten fifty. Sold it right here. Thousand dollars. What's the number, John? 116. 116. Give him a hand. Give him a hand. Okay, here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, we have item number nine. If you remember, Jill and Russ kind of have had this five years running. They're not here tonight. So it's got to get a new home. Are wrapped around. Bring it out here in front of here, ladies. 
Looky here. Does everybody understand what it is? You get your name on it, you get a ticket home, and away we go. All right? So, here we go. Hey, follow along. You tell me. Anybody want to give $1,000? I've sold it a lot of times for $5,000. $1,000 where? $1,000 where? $1,000, $1,000, $1,000. Who wants to put their name on it? $1,000 where? $1,000. Well, I got a $1,000 where? 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 Thousand dollar bid and now twelve and a half, twelve and a half, twelve and a half. The plows in the ground. Thousand dollar bid and now twelve and a half. Thousand dollar bid and now twelve and a half, twelve and a half, twelve and a half, twelve and a half, twelve and a half. Twelve hundred and fifty dollars. A thousand dollar bid and now twelve and a half. I'm with you, Johnny. At a thousand and now twelve and a half. Thousand now twelve and a half, twelve and a half, twelve and a half, twelve and a half. Thousand dollar bid and now twelve and a half. Thousand dollar bid. Anybody other bidders in the house? Thousand dollar bid and now twelve and a half. Thousand dollar bid and now twelve and a half, twelve and a half. I'll take eleven hundred. Thousand dollar bid and now eleven. Thousand dollar bid and now eleven, 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 eleven hundred dollar here and now twelve. Twelve hundred. Twelve hundred. Where we at, Johnny? Twelve. And now thirteen. And now thirteen. Thirteen hundred dollars where? Thirteen hundred dollars where? Thirteen hundred dollars. Did you did you two come as a couple? We want you to go home together. Thirteen hundred. Thirteen hundred. Twelve hundred dollar bid and now thirteen. Twelve hundred dollar bid and now thirteen. Now thirteen. Now thirteen. You get your name. Tell you what, gang. Where else are you gonna get to do this? It's brought five grand the last five years. I made $1,200 and went 13. $1,200 bid and now 13, 13, 13, 13. $1,200 bid and now 13, and now 14. We like you. 14. You got a number in mind? We can raise it up. $1,300 bid and now 14. 14. 14 and now 15. There we go. We're going to sit here. Tell you what, folks. Just take your time. And now 15. And now 15. $1,500 where? 15, 15, 15. You're doing a heck of a job. Show them where it's going to go. $1,400 bid and now 15. I'll tell you what we're going to do. Whoever's the last bidder gets their first name on it first. $1,400 now 15. $1,400 bid now 15. $1,400. What's that? Yeah, yeah, fourteen hundred now fifteen. Fourteen hundred. You want to jump in on this? Fourteen hundred dollar bid now fifteen. Fourteen. Is this is this your significant other? He says yes. Now sixteen. Sixteen. Sixteen hundred dollars. Sixteen and now seventeen. Sixteen and now seventeen. Sixteen and now seventeen. Seventeen. Now eight. Two grand. Twenty two and a half. Two thousand dollar bid now two. Three thousand and now four. Three thousand. Three thousand now thirty five. Three thousand now thirty five. Bring them on. Mark said to bring up a drink. Three thousand now thirty-five. Three thousand dollar bid now thirty-five. 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 Three thousand dollar bid now thirty-five. Did you say thirty-five? And now four thousand. Four thousand. You can take him. You can take him. I'm betting on you. Thirty-five and now four thousand. Thirty-five and now four thousand. Four thousand. Show him you can do it. Thirty-five hundred now four thousand. The women got you boys outnumbered at this table. Thirty-five and now four thousand. Thirty-four thousand here and now forty-five. Forty-five. Forty-five hundred dollars. Forty-five. 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 Forty-five hundred. Four thousand dollar bid and now forty-five. Four thousand dollar bid and now forty-five. 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 Forty. And now five thousand. Five thousand. Five thousand dollars. Five thousand dollars. Five thousand dollar where forty. Forty. Hey, you folks, take a nap. Willis is in a coma. I'm right. Forty-five hundred. I want five thousand. Forty-five and I want five. Forty-five and I want five. When I write my memoirs, I want to say it brought five thousand six years in a row. Forty-five hundred now, five thousand. Forty-five hundred now, five. Five thousand. Fifty-five hundred we got. Sold right there. Five thousand dollars. There we go. What's your number? What's your number? Two forty-one. Five thousand dollars. What a deal! All right. Tell you what time it is, folks. It is time. Who needs a set of beads on that note for our heads and tails? Anybody need a set of beads? Amanda, you got any? In case we hold up your hand if you want a set of beads. Okay. Here's what I want you to do. You can only have a max of two sets. Everybody that's got a set of that's got beads, stand up. Here we go. Stand them up. Amanda, would you please join me? All right. Here we go, gang. Everybody knows what the prizes are. Let me tell you how this works. You put your hand on your head or your hand on your tail. If you're right, you're still in. If you have two sets of beads and you're wrong, you take off one set. Okay? 
This is kind of the honor system. We got fudge. We got every kind of thing you can imagine. Okay, here we go. Hands on your head, hands on your tail, go. That's fine. Damn it, it's tail. Tail. Every time. Thank you, but you stay right here. Okay, here we go. Every time I Here we go. Hands on your head, hands on your tail, go. And it is. Head. Now it's head. Yeah. Okay. Who we still got in? We're doing good. All right. Here we go. Hands on your head. Hands on your tail. Let's go. And it is. Head. You bit the dirt, Sean. Here we go. All right. Here we. Another one bit the dirt. Here we go. Hands on your head. Hands on your tail. Here we go. And it is. Head. All right. I tell you what, everybody that's still in, come right up here in front. Come on, as Bob Barker would say, come on down. We got Lou. Oh, we've got Judy that's flying upside down. Here we go. We got everybody strung out here. All right. Has anybody got two sets? Don't think so. Okay. All right. Hands on your head. Hands on your tail. Go. And it is. Head. Okay. Let's kind of move in just a little bit. There we go. Here we go. All right. Hands on your head. Hands on your tail. Go. Get it. Tail. Wow. Okay. And then there was four. Okay. Here we go, gang. I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to do here. You just kind of face. Just walk the, just face that away just a little bit, Carla. You get a look straight ahead. You look that away. Okay. Here we go. Hands on your head. Hands on your tail. Go. We could. Nope. It's going to eliminate half of them. Tail. Tail. Okay. All right. You look that way, and you look this way. Now, we have done this so many times, we hardly ever get it right the first time. So we're going to see if we have somebody special tonight to get it right. On the count of three, Amanda, are you betting? Do we have a special team here? On the count of three, hands on your head, hands on your tail, go. Oh, all right, you can face each other because we're going to have a winner. Here we go. Right here's your winner. Here we go. Okay, let's talk paddle rig. This is 29 years. I think I've done this auction about 26 or 7. I'm getting a little foggy upstairs. So our goal tonight is $20,000, and we have a gem match. So whatever we raise, they're going to match. So if we raise $40,000, it's really $80,000. And our goal is to pull $20,000 out of this room. Okay, so we're going to start up what we're going to do with the money. COVID has just depleted all parts of, the, of everything. So we're just trying to rebuild from the ground up. So here we go. Who wants to be the first one to stand up and write a check, fully tax deductible, I might add, for $2,000? Do we have any... $2,000 people, raise your hand or stand up. Don't want to miss anybody. We got Amanda drinking heavily. Okay. All right. $2,000 right there. What's your number? $150. $150. Donated $2,000. Anybody else at $2,000? Anybody else? Don't want to miss anybody. 
All right, our next stop, 1500 Does anybody want to stand up and write a check for $1,500? We're on our way to our $20,000. Anybody at $1,500? Don't be bashful. All right, we're going to go to the magic number of 1,000. 1,000. Hold on. I got number 105 for 1,000. I lost my number. What is your number? I don't know. Amanda Sutton, all vouch for Amanda Sutton, $1,000. Here we go. Number 501, no relation to the Levi's, puts in $1,000. Anybody else at $1,000? Whoop, here we go. $1,000 over here to number 150. 150 at $1,000. Anybody else? For a, I don't want to miss one person. $1,000. All right. The next stop. $750. Who wants to stand up and write a check for $750? We have number 112. 112 for 750. Anybody else for 750? Don't want to miss anybody. Have I told you folks I missed you all last year? We had we have so much fun at this thing and then we just don't have it. 500. Who wants to be 500? Number 206 for 500. Number 162 for 500. Hold on. You just keep writing there. I'll get it. Number 212, she's boiling for 500. 120 for 500. We're coming over here. Number 500. I wish we'd have given you number 1,000, but number 500 for 500. Number 203 for 500. Anybody else at 500? Whoa, looky here. I love this exercise. Here we go. Number 157. No relation to the sauce. 57 sauce. 157 is for 500. Anybody else for $500? Okay. We're going to $250. Who wants to be in at $250? Here we go. 161 is at 250. Who else is at 250? Oh, here we go over here. Number 283 for 250. Number 137 for 250. Who else for 250? All right. Where's, who's my calculator girl? And what do we have, dear? Ten thousand. What's that? Okay, we're at ten thousand, and we were at two fifty. So we got a long ways to go with a hundred, don't we? Uh -huh. Wow. Here we. You know. Yeah. Don't worry about it. All right. You know, in the olden days, if you had two horses pulling. It makes the load easier. You got four horses pulling. So before I go down to my hundred dollar one, does anybody have another amount above two fifty that they would like to do? I just have to ask that question. We're at ten thousand. We're not. We're just halfway home. But now we're going to go for one hundred dollars. Who wants to be a one hundred dollar person? Number 289 for 100. Number 250 for 100. Number 267 for 100. Number 288 for 100. Number 205 for 100. Number 213 for 100. Number 160 for 100. 
Number 158 for 100. Number 139. You got your age on the last two, sir. Was good. For 100. And I still don't get to do your auction. Uh, anybody else for 100? Oh, here we go. Over here. Number 215 for 100. Number 293 for 100. Am I missing anybody? Oh, here we go. Number 219 for 100. Anybody else? Okay, tell me what my total is. 11,200. Well, you know, it isn't 20, but I would like to get to 12. Okay? So we need $800. Who can help me out? I'll take any amount you'll want to come up with to get me to 12000 Who can help me out? I need $800. I'll take 100 I'll take two. I'll take 50 Just hold up your hand and tell me what you want to do. Number 286 for how much? 300 for 286 Now I'm 500 down. Number 113, Frank, you didn't get to go on a trip. How much you putting in? 100 for Frank. Now I'm 400 behind. I've got to get there. Who else do I have? I need $400. Don't care how I get there. Anybody else? I want to be an even 12,000. Oh, here we go. 269. How much? 100. 100. Oh, my. Now I'm down to 300. What? Number 112 is how much? 100. I'm down to 200. How? Oh, oh, I see two hands up. Here we go. Number 144. 100. I need 100. What number are you at? 130. Let's give everybody a hand for $12,000. $12,000. Here we go. Folks, on behalf of myself, my son Willis, Big John, that often, it's always my pleasure to be your auctioneer. If I've done this 26 years, I'd like to do it another 26, but I doubt. Are you dancing there, dear? Oh, but I don't think I got 26 left in me. But if I do, I hope I see each and every one of you here. It's been my pleasure. I hope you've had some fun. You've raised some great money in a rough time. Thank you. May God bless you. Thank you. One more hand for Bill Seaworth and his team. I want to thank my staff, every single one of you that helps to make this happen. Lisa Winta, Gail Kratz, Michael Tincher, Jessica, you're back there, technician extraordinaire, Jessica Miller, Bonnie Cleaver. We also have Lindsay Reed, who greeted you this evening. We've got Amanda Burton, not Sutton, but Amanda Burton, and Carrie Laxon. I also have a couple hourly employees that help out a lot. Thank you to all that you do. Jasmine, you were here tonight. Jeff, you were not. Uh, my board, Judy. Thanks a lot. Susan, thank you so much. Jessica Manning is not here tonight, but she helped out with her foundation this evening. And to the rest of you in the room, thank you for coming. Thank you for helping the night be safe for all. I look forward to a time when those of you at home can come and join us again and celebrate in a big way, in a big room, where we all can feel together again and doing something to better our world. You have made that difference tonight. Thank you for coming. If you didn't get your parking validated and you would like to, $2 if you want to pay for it. If you want to have it validated, we can do that at the front counter of the reception or I think still at the front counter um, where you checked in tonight. If there's wine on your table, quick drink it. Um, I think there might be beer left. You might want to have some of that. Thank you to Odell's. Thank you to the Hilton. Thank you to Hillside Construction, so very much for your support. Pooter Pet and Feed, Otter Cares, 
uh, EDM International, and of course, um, Arbor X, RX, as well as all of our business sponsors. But again, to all of you in the room, thank you for being here tonight. Thank you, as Gandhi said, for being the change that you want to see in the world. We are grateful, and I am humbled. Thanks a lot. Drive safely. If you won, we'll be in touch with you to tell you how much you owe. Tonight, unfortunately, um, we can't have you take items home because we have to close it all out and make sure all of the taxes are paid and all of the things are done properly. So emails will be sent. Um, we can, if you marked online that you needed shipping, we'll ship to you. Otherwise, next week, we do have um, hours to come by and pick up your goodies. So definitely do that. If anyone has any questions before you leave, leave tonight, I'm right here. Come and say hi. Come and say goodbye. Thank you all for being here. Drive safely as you go home.